Hey guys, what's going on? Paul here. And in this video, what I'm going to show you is the wallet I am using for storing my ontology and how you can claim your ONG because I got a lot of requests for this since my last video talking about ontology was one of the coins that I was stocking up on. If this is the first of my videos you've seen, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Also hit the bell icon to get updates. I do general market updates, reviews, just talking about my general opinion on the markets and different tutorial videos like this. Also don't forget to give it a like and a share if you get some value to really help get this video out there and also grow my channel. I do appreciate it. So jumping straight in, the wallet is O-Wallet. The version that I will be using here is 0.8.8. It was released one hour ago and I will show you, I've already got it installed, but to install it yourself, just come to the GitHub page, click on the version you want, so it will be the EXE version for you. Once you download it, install it, and then when you open it, you get this screen here. I'll put a link to that GitHub as well down below. Once you click enter here, the first thing that you will get is a pop-up screen asking where you want to store your key store files. So that is your .dat file. So that is an encrypted backup for your wallet. So if you ever need to restore that wallet, Somewhere else on a different machine, you will need that dot that file, or else you will need, there are some other options here. When you go to import, you will need the private key, the 64 hex, the key store, which is the dot dot, the private key, WIF, or the mnemonic phrase. So again, make sure no one ever gets your copy of them files. So you'll see I have some wallets already set up here. You can have an individual wallet, which is what this tutorial is gonna talk about. You can have a shared wallet, which is multiple people. You can set up uh, different parameters on it where there's multiple users of the wallet and so many of them, a set number, have to verify a transaction if it is going to be actually sent out. And then the ledger, if you wanna connect up your ledger Nano S, which is what I will probably do for most of my ontology, but I might do that in a separate video. So again, down the left, you just have your wallet here. You can click into it. Ont ID, I haven't got into that. That's creating an ID with ontology. I think there could be a verification in that, but I haven't jumped into it yet. And then for node sake, and you have to have your Ont ID, but I'll keep this straight to the wallets. So create a wallet, click create, give it a name. So uh, video, video test for this one. Give it a password. Again, this is any password you want. Next where you want to save it. So you can see I saved mine in documents and ONT. Again, this is just a dummy test account here that I will be deleting all of this when I am putting in my own, but for the purposes of the video, this is where I've done it. Save, and then you are given your public address here, the public key, and then there's that private key as well that you want to keep safe, and you can download the dot dat. But previous to this, it automatically downloaded it for us. Click next. When I come into that video test file here, if I wanted to receive, again, to get your address, click on receive. There's the wallet address or the public key. Let's go back. So you can see here the balance is zero, ontology zero, ONT, and I have zero claimable ONG as well. This here is for the swap from the Neo blockchain over to the ontology blockchain. Again, this video isn't going to get into that because that will probably be finished by the time most people see this video. So let's go back to a wallet that I have a few coins in. So this one here, first, you can see I have five ontology in here. It is already earning ONT, which is you are paid that for holding ontology within the ontology wallet. There will be some exchanges, I would say, like NEO that will start supporting it. They will start paying out the ontology or paying out the ONG. For me personally, I like to keep my coins off exchanges and in private wallets that I control the private keys for, for safety. So I can't actually claim this. The reason that I can't claim it is because you need 0.01 ONG um, to claim. So the amount of ONG you can claim for is for uh, that, for a 0.04 ONG fee. So I can't do it now, but you would just click the redeem and then you would have your ontology. If you wanted to send, Click on send, so not enough. Uh, so I don't actually have enough of ONG to go in and show you. So ONG is the gas for the network. I don't have enough to actually send this five out yet. So 
that's really it on the tutorial i hope it's been helpful trying to keep it under the five minutes we are just gone over that any questions let me know down below guys don't forget to hit the subscribe any future videos you'd like to see let me know as well and give the video a like thanks for watching and i will talk to you soon